Hey guys, Bryce from Trick Tools here. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the lineup of radius brakes that we offer. This is the four foot model of radius brake. We have them available in six and eight foot models as well. Um, there's minor differences between those, um, but for starters on the four foot model here, um, it comes with one inch, two inch, three, four, five, and a six and three quarter inch uh, diameter roll for the machine. So you can really do a pretty broad range of different radiuses uh, to be able to achieve different shapes and things that you're trying to do in your shop. So um, all made here in the United States and basically pretty simple operation, just like any other regular brake. You have the top section here for holding the material and then you have the big uh, bottom section that's going to bend up to uh, break the material. The difference is that this uses radius shape rolls and this bottom uh, roll swings around the pivot point of the ro top roll in order to create the radius shape instead of a hard bend. So uh, on this, when you swing it around, you then now have on this roll a nice one inch uh, or it's, I guess a half inch radius, a one inch diameter roll uh, here on this piece. And then accordingly, depending on which top roll you have in there and have it adjusted, you get those achieved uh, dimensions as well. So um, for adjustments on this machine, uh, once you get your roll in place, your top roll, you have an adjustment here. You just take your 5 h wrench and you can adjust this roll up and down and you can also uh, using the second adjustment, uh, adjust the bottom basically to get the, you want to get the, the roll to where you can slide your material all the way through to the backside, uh, make sure that's lined up properly. And then you want to have this to where you have a uh, decent little gap in there, uh, material thickness at least, um, in order to be able to give the, uh, radius break room to be able to roll around and you can also loosen that if you want to say try to get a slightly bigger radius than running a super tight one if you have the gap set to where there's basically just material thickness in there it's going to roll it really tight to the top roll if you open that up just a little bit it's going to do a little bit softer of a roll so um, yeah so you, once you get those adjusted then you can go to work in order to change these uh, rolls out there's the one main bolt in each end here, and you take that out, and you have to make sure you get it adjusted beforehand. That way, when you take the bolt out, swap the roll from the back of the machine onto here, you have plenty of room to be able to uh, get the bolt back in without having to try to adjust it while you're holding that roll. So it's easier to do that ahead of time. Um, and then once that's adjusted, you can go to work. So uh, there's a nice, uh, there's provisions on the back of the machine for being able to uh, slide the rolls in place here and you can tighten up these uh, uh, bolts here in order to hold them in place uh, securely on the back of the machine. So it makes it real easy. Um, there's a counterweight here to help ease. Obviously when you're trying to bend this around, helps you uh, bend that around with, uh, without too much effort. Um, this machine is it sitting here on the floor is on caster wheels. We don't send it with caster wheels. This is our demo model. So we have it rolling around um, for easy movement here. Um, we would recommend you bolt this machine down to the floor uh, in order to have a stable um, workspace, uh, especially when you're working on thicker materials, full width. You want to be able to have that thing securely uh, down to the floor. That way you can uh, really pull on this thing. Uh, knowing the machine's not going to be going anywhere. So for more information on the lineup of radius brakes, uh, we'll include uh, on the screen the, uh, I guess, what size rolls each size of radius brake comes with, and you can determine which model's right for you. So if you have any more questions, give us a call. Visit our website, tricktools.com. We'll get those questions answered for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.